Hi and welcome to the MyGrow YouTube channel. My name is Shane and the founder of MyGrow. Got a really exciting test for you today. Probably the best two Cobb LED grow lights available on the market right now. We've got the Optic 1XL and the MyGrow 100. Who's going to be the best grow light? Let's find out. First just looking at the Optic 1XL. It's a 100 watt unit, passively cooled, got a pin heat sink on the back, glass lens, uh, uh, Cree CXB3590, pretty much the highest end um, LED that they, carb LED that they produce. Got a 90 degree output from the lens here. Uh, driver mounted on the back, then plugged straight into the mains. So nice, simple, high quality LED grow light. I tested the baby brother last year, it was a 2.04 PPFD per watt. This one is being run pretty much twice as hard. We know that LEDs drop uh, in terms of their output when they're being run at higher power. Gotta find out how much today. This side, we've got our own Migro 100. Uh, it's very similar, it's 110 watts. It's got a, a luminous CXM32 LED inside, their best carb chip available. It's got a 100 degree lens output and a diffused lens. So there, it's a softer light and a slightly wider spread than the Optic One. It's got a thin heatsink, so passively cooled as well. And handle for mounting. In this case, slightly uh, different configuration. The driver is separate, so, so both li lights are IP rated, which means they can go into a damp area. In this case, we've got the cabling going back to the driver, which can be outside that area, and uh, to keep it as cool as possible. And you've got a dimming function as well, which is nice, particularly in the early stages of growth and uh, keeping the overall um, bills and heat down more stealthy. So, very similar in terms of their design and functionality. Uh, both rated for two foot by two foot or 60 centimeter by 60 centimeter grow areas. Both lights have precisely the same spectrum output, three and a half thousand K color temperature output. So pretty much uh, clo very closely matched there. So the real question is, how much light are they outputting? and which one outputs more. So as usual, did the full test, put them into the two foot by two foot grow area. So on the mat, surrounded by silver mylar walls and hung them at their recommended hanging height and tested them. So the Optic 1XL was first to test. Started off hanging it at the manufacturer's recommended hanging height, which is 18 inches for flowering and obviously put it into the two by two and put in our quantum sensor, the Apogee SQ500, and we took the 16 measurements across the grow area. So consumed 97 watts, that the average power output across the two by two was 451 power, which is a total of 162 PPFD output. And dividing 162 by 97 watts, that's a PPFD per watt of 1.67. So significantly lower than the um, Optic One. Uh, obviously it's been driven, as I said, at twice the power, so uh, we expected a reduction, but quite a significant reduction there. In order to give it the best chance possible, I recalibrated myself just to give it the best hanging height for efficiency which at 35 centimeters or 14 inches, it's just under a thousand power dead center, which is how I calibrate it. And that did improve the result. It gave a total output of, sorry, an average output of 475 power, which is a total PPFD output of 171, and a result of 1.76 PPFD per watt. So still, uh, still a very good result, but uh, certainly lower than the optic one. The MIGO then we hung exact same rig, right adjacent, uh, hang height for the MIGO is 30 centimeters, and yeah, took the 16 measurements again. 
the average power output is 634 power for 111 watts consumed and uh, that's a total power output of 228 PPFD over the 111 watts consumed is 2.05 PPFD per watt. So a clear winner with the micro, about 15% more efficiency and in terms of power output way more uh, and uh, yeah it wins it by uh, quite an easy margin actually in the end. Oh great result for the micro 100 has outperformed the Optic 1XL considerably and very happy with the result I have to say. Uh, so if you have any comments or queries please leave them um, down below and I'll do my best to get back to them and I hope you uh, enjoyed and please subscribe. Take care. Bye now.